<laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely my favourite ad of all time, the one I really wish I'd made beyond kind of anything else, and that's the Cadbury's Gorilla spot. The epitome of um, a great idea meets a great execution. And this spot came out as I was just making a transition professionally between strategy and into creative. And this spot was just pure joy, pure mood, kind of the antithesis of everything kind of I was doing at the time. And it really kind of shook me in, in terms of uh, a creative execution. 90 seconds gives you this beautiful indulgent time to kind of slowly pan in before you reveal this huge silverback gorilla sitting at a drum set. The intensity and this seriousness kind of in his expression as he kind of you know does that kind of uh, you know neck stretch and sort of limbers up before launching into that epic drum solo gave a lot of creatives a lot of hope that they could produce work that just made people feel something as opposed to having to, to spell out what a um, what a brand wanted to say. I would love to have been in the room when they sold that idea in. The second ad I wish I'd made, the Skittles Pinata Man ad, directed by Tom Kuntz. You know, I think up until that point in my career, I'd maybe felt you needed to, to smuggle in the message. But right out of the gate, it's there. The product's kind of on the table. Is this what you were looking for? New chocolate flavored Skittles? I'm really sorry. What did you think was going to happen, Stephen? The other beautiful thing about uh, that execution, particularly for me, out of all the great Skittles ones, is how they managed to get you to both laugh at this um, strange piñata man and feel incredibly sorry for him, all within about 45 seconds, uh, while selling you some lollies. Did you think you were going to hit me with that bat and little chocolatey candies would come pouring out? Yes. I have to buy my Skittles downstairs. Like everybody else! I just think, you know, it's brilliant. There's an incredible sort of almost backstory that you're drawn into. Um, and, uh, you know, just performance-wise as well, it just, it just nails it on every level for me. So moving on to the third ad, I wish I'd made the original Boddington's Cream of Manchester. Just a bit of context. There was lots of very avant-garde commercials, kind of mini David Lynch movies. Very hard to kind of understand exactly what was going on, but you know, but they, but they looked superb. Um, and this ad kind of followed a lot of those cues before it started to get increasingly absurd. There's an inflection point, I suppose, at which someone emerges from the water with a fish on their head, and you realise it's all just been a big Mickey take of, of that genre of executions. And I just love that twist. I think it's, it's done incredibly well. And Melanie Sykes, who was an it girl at the time, who perfectly embodied those two worlds of kind of supermodel, but girl next door who would, who would drink a pint with you. Hey, Sarkwell, your toys aren't right way around. This maybe isn't necessarily my favourite ad, but I think it was released at a point in time for me that was kind of sort of pertinent. Seeing this kind of really made me feel like advertising might be the right direction for me. <laughs> <laughs>